In the chat room of Spreaker.com, Rel, the intern, Scott, says Ronda Rousey had that Urban Meyer look at halftime. Oh, ish. Yeah. I'm ducking and dodging. I hope she bounces back. She's the best attraction and woman UFC. That's the problem once again. Call me whatever you want. Call me old-fashioned. Call me a chauvinist, which isn't the case. I just don't like to see women beat the hell out of each other. I don't. So I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'll ever be a fan of this. Muhammad Ali didn't like when his daughter was fighting. Hell, I mean, I don't want to see that. You know, a lot of people make the argument they don't want to see men fight. That is primitive and is, is you know, barbaric and whatever. And I especially don't want to see no damn woman fight. I'm sorry. So it really ain't a big deal to me if she comes back strong or not. From Clay Dollar Bill Davis, ah, uh, ish, it's over. <laughs> right. Uh, from that boy Chucky, that's that cock strong strength, son. Yeah, I gave the little story earlier. My cousin Terrence, man, if you're from my hometown, you're listening to the show, you remember my cousin uh, uh, Terrence, man. This dude, like he he had, he had this thing that he always said, well, we, we used to lift weights for the, with the team. He played football. Um, we used to lift weights with the team, and he had this thing that he'd always just say, just arbitrarily, I ain't lifting no damn weights. <laughs> right. His thing was, I ain't lifting no damn weights. And he really didn't need to. Like, you touch this ninja, you grab him by the arm once again, you grab him by the arm, and, and you, a lot of y'all can relate. You grab this dude by the arm, it feels like absolute steel. And some people are like that. And I think at some point very early in that fight, Ronda Rousey know that she messed with the wrong chick. Like, she didn't adapt. She didn't have enough time to adapt in that fight and change her strategy or whatever. It was too late from Sensational. She knew she had lost when she took that first two-piece. Exactly. Uh, from Grego. So Tony Romo looked great, didn't he? Uh, here come Grego trying to start controversy. From 334, Bamba Boy, did Ronda say she could beat Layla Ali too? She may have said something like that. During that whole time period when everybody was on her jock, or not on her jock, or what's the proper term? On her uh, um, mm, love box. <laughs> when everybody was on her love box talking about how great she is, I think she may have said something, you know, slick to, to, to Layla Ali. I think so. And you know, it's all about promotion and them trying to promote fights or whatever. I get that. But, yeah, she don't want none of no Layla Ali, e- even though I'm not a fan of Layla Ali. Uh, but she don't want none of no Layla Ali. She was talking about fighting a man. She was talking about fighting one of the best fighters to ever put on gloves. It just got out of hand. Yeah, it just got out of hand. You asked the, the media, Ronda Rousey could beat freaking Iron Man. She kicked Captain America's ass. That's the way it felt. Whatever. And then she started bragging. You remember before she fought, she fought Holly Holmes? She was talking cash shit. You know? She was talking cash-ish about... Holly home and how fast this is going to be and how easy this is going to be. Whatever, man. Hey, we get back, man. We'll kind of we'll kind of run through the games you got coming on today, man. It might have already started. Uh, then we'll wrap today's show, man. We made it, man. We had a little problem early, but we fixed it. No big deal. Back in three minutes to wrap up today's show. Don't go away.
Happy New Year from the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. A quick little recap of the games. Uh, I guess kind of like the important college games from this past weekend. Some quick little commentary on them. Um, LSU and Louisville, man. Ah, damn, Lamar Jackson. Shit. Yeah, I watched that game, man. I think Lamar Jackson was was sacked like, was it six times or maybe four times? I don't have the notes in front of me. Um, real tough three-game stretch for Louisville, man. LSU just dominates defensively. They're too fast. Uh, Louisville can't block anybody. Louisville has some injuries, and uh, they go on to lose their last three games of the year. They got to get some better help for Lamar Jackson. They do. They go down 29-9. to LSU going to be a big uh, a team that's going to be talked about a lot coming into next year for preseason. Um, the Geist kid, the running back that took over for Leonard Fournette, balled out of control again. Uh, I mean, LSU is LSU. They got talent. I mean, there's just no way around it. They just dominated uh, Louisville, man. And it was sad to see because you know there's the naysayers out there. It was like, I told you Lamar Jackson ain't all of that, this, that, and they lost their last three games in a row. They beaten the hell out of this kid, man. It's just seems like. College football figured out Louisville the last month of the season. And it's, and it's sad, man. It's sad. But um, ball award to LSU for getting it done. And Louisville just needs to go back to work. Georgia Tech got it done beating Kentucky. Ball award to the Yellow Jackets. In the Tax Slayer Bowl. Paul Johnson, man, he, he continues to hold on. Started out rough this year. Paul Johnson and the Yellow Jackets go 8-4. and four. Uh, you know, relatively good. If you know, they're not going to win a national championship. It doesn't look like, um, but they get it done. To ball award to Georgia Tech. Uh, Kirby Smart in his first year as head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. They eke out a win against TCU. <laughs> Tennessee beats Nebraska, thirty-eight to twenty-four. So the SEC had started out real slow. The SEC had started out real slow and uh, really turned things around with a couple of wins for the conference in Tennessee and Georgia in the uh, bowl games. Florida State uh, eased by Michigan, 33-32. to um, The Wolverines' three losses this season were by a combined five points. Michigan managed only 3.4 yards per play and had players tackle for losses 15 times in the game against Florida State. Congratulations to uh, – to, uh, to Florida State getting it done, representing the ACC. Uh, Miami, your boy Mark Rick, first year as a head coach down in Miami, gets it done with another uh, former Big East team in uh, uh, Wake, uh, West Virginia. Was Miami ever in the – no, well, Miami's in the Big East in basketball, I think, or they used to be. Anyway, Miami beats uh, West Virginia 31-14. to They have an 8-4 and record for Mark Rick's first year once again. Uh, and today, you know, college football bowl schedule, the Outback Bowl starts at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So in about 45 minutes, you got Iowa taking on Florida uh, from the Big Ten and the uh, SEC. Then you have Western Michigan. Everybody, Cinderella, went 13-0 and this year. Um, they take on Wisconsin. That's going to be an interesting game to watch because we want to see how, you know, a team from a lower division like West Western Michigan, I'm not even sure which conference they're from, uh, how they do against the big boys. You know, I think when they have or they go to eight teams in the playoffs, and you're listening to the Doug Shure Show, a team like Western Michigan that goes undefeated will get like a seventh or eighth spot. So it's going to be interesting to see how they hold their own against Wisconsin today in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. And then at 6 p.m. Eastern time, you've got the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all, USC taking on Penn State. And later on, 8.30 p.m. kickoff, the All-State Sugar Bowl, you've got Auburn taking on Oklahoma. Those are your games today. It's bowl season. Yeah. From Willie D in the chat room on Spreaker.com, Willie D says the MAC Conference. That's right. Western Michigan is the MAC Conference. Uh, that's with Marshall and that's with Ohio, um, those teams in MAC Conference. Uh, from J.B. Jennings, let's go Gators. Uh, I'm rooting for the SEC. I'm rooting for the SEC because it's too bad. They started out so slow. 
You got people like Vern from Jersey. Look, speaking of the devil, speaking of the devil, Chief Rocker Vern from Jersey. Man, F the SEC. <laughs> Whatever. Vern's argument last week, he called up to the show. He's an Ohio State fan too, yeah. Vern's argument, and undoubtedly all the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Big Ten fans and SEC haters, their argument is always the SEC ain't nothing but Ohio State. The problem is that you can say the same thing about the Big Ten. Ain't no, the Big Ten is nothing but Ohio State. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. The SEC won, what, seven or eight championships? Uh, in seven championships in eight years? Stop the hate on the SEC because it's ridiculous. Yes, Alabama, Auburn, Florida. Uh, Ohio State, mm, Michigan's turned things around, but pretty much in the Big Ten, it's all it's been about Ohio State. So you can talk all you want about Alabama. I can say the same thing about the stinking ass Big Ten. Whatever. Clay Dollar Bill Davis, Big Ten is looking bad in these bowl games. Some Big L and Pittsburgh Mocha will be a hard win for the Dolphins. Yeah, Dolphins on the road taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hines Field from Chief Rocker, Jersey Vern, X Squad. 334, good thing you did not come over Saturday night. I was so mad I would have had pick you up and slam you instead of the table. Um, not the 334 Bama boy that I met at TDSS weekend, too. <laughs> nah, nah, Vern. Nah, that's just Vern talking trash. Because he met 334 Bama Boy, too. 334 Bama Boy looked like he played D-tackle. It looked like he could still play D-tackle. You don't want none of that, Vern. Plus, he's from Alabama, so that means he country strong. Nah. You wouldn't body slamming nobody, Vern. Just stop that. Your ass is 86 years old. You ain't grabbing nobody. And your team got their ass kicked this weekend. Right, exactly. From Miss Mocha Bella, Chief couldn't even pick up 334. Hell no. 334, he looked like my cousin Terrence that I talked about earlier. 334 looks solid. He looked like, once again, defensive tackle in high school. Uh, 